Welcome to my channel. I want to do a quick shout out to my Crafty VIP members and to my uh, Crafty Bugger members. So this is my top two tier members. So I just wanted to do a quick shout out. So I'm going to show you um, a bunch of different mums and how I boxed them up for shipping. So if you don't know, I sell on Etsy. And so I have to box up and ship mums. And I've had three seasons now on Etsy, three successful seasons on Etsy. And uh, I've changed the way I box up some over the years. And, you know, I'm sure that'll happen every single year. But this is a collection of all the videos I've done in the past of boxing up mums. So I'm showing you what size box I'm using. And these boxes are free from the post office. You have to order them online. Uh, they have lots of different sizes of boxes. None huge though. It's going to be smaller boxes for smaller mums. But still, if they offer free boxes, you know, don't pass that up. Okay, this first mum is a peewee mum. And I'm actually putting two mums in this box. I don't do that a lot, but I I do occasionally do it. It does save shipping um, costs, and but I only do it if I I'm sure I can do it without messing them up. So sometimes I ship some smaller mums together. Sometimes I do it separately. It depends on the boxes I have available, things like that, like the sizes and such. So that's just a piece of chipboard that I'm putting hot glue on. And then I'm going to glue that to the side of the box to secure it. And that's just going to help keep the mum in place where I want it. It's not going to keep it perfectly straight, or I mean perfectly against the box. It's still going to be able to move around a little bit, but it is going to keep it from being thrown across the box and such. And I want to make sure that hot glue sets good before I move on to the next step. So that's why I hold it like that and, and make sure that it's it's nice and dry. I'm just going to make sure that the ribbons are all straight, none are creased, none are bent. Uh, make sure that they're all in a good spot. Make sure the trinkets are okay, the braid. Just making sure everything's where I want it. I'm going to fold that tissue paper down over the ends there. And add some more tissue. And I do buy that tissue paper at Dollar Tree if I have not said that. You can buy like, I can't remember how many packet or how many sheets you get in one, like 30 or something. They, they do have one that's pretty big, but you have to search for them. And then uh, these air pockets or whatever, I can't remember what you call them. But I save, whenever I get anything shipped to me, I save those. I, I save bubble wrap. I reuse as much as I can. I save it throughout the year until homecoming season. And it's kind of a pain to find somewhere to store it. But um, it is another way to save money. And I feel like I'm doing something good because I'm recycling. And then, of course, like I said, I use a ton of tissue paper. So now for the mini mum, of course, hers is going on top because the girls is more important. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then she has a ribbon necklace, but I believe I put a loop on top too. Sometimes I put a loop on, on the top too for shipping purposes, even if they're not going to wear it. And then other times I just use the ribbon necklace. Okay, so I'm going through the loop at the top of the mum on the backer. So that's another way to do it too. Sometimes it needs a loop, but if you have a loop around the backer, you can use that as well. And then I'm going to glue it across. I'm going to glue on each end of that chipboard, but that chipboard is going across instead of up and down is what I meant to say. And again, hold that and make sure that it sets good. And that one is going to be much more secure being that way. It can still slide back and forth a little bit, but I'm just trying to keep them as secure as possible. Okay. 
Now, when you do it like this way on the box, a lot of times you can add a staple too, just to make sure that doesn't come undone. And when I staple it like this, I always make sure that the solid piece of the staple is on the outside of the box so whoever's handling the box doesn't get scratched. And a lot of times I will tape over the staple too if I remember to do that. Because I would not want that to snag on somebody or to scratch somebody. That would that would be bad. So try to try to take care with that. And then again, I'm just making sure the trinkets are where I need them, that everything is spread out and secure. And I'm going to put some tissue under the braid, put the braid on top of that, just to take extra care of that braid. This was a blinged mini, and you know, you just want to make sure you take care of all the pieces. I will add, especially in the big mums, I will add so many layers of tissue and wrap tissue around the braids and stuff and so far I've had really good success with shipping. I've not had any complaints so far, knock on wood. Um, you know there might be a little one ribbon streamer that got a little bent or something and they didn't say anything like I see it on the pictures like if they send me pictures I'm like oh there's a little ribbon that got bent. <laughs> I've not had any complaints though. You know, you got to expect a little something to happen here and there, but um, for the most part, I've had really good success. So just going to keep doing it the way I do it. And unless I think of uh, better ideas or somebody else gives me better tips, then I'll just keep doing it the way I'm doing it. Try to be careful of those ends of those ribbons. See, with the mini mums, those ribbon ends are very important, those streamer ends. So I've got to make sure that I'm taking care of those and not getting them bent in any way. And then I'm going to add more of this. So I always make sure that the box is full. You don't want any room in the box where where the mom can like uh, move around and, and bounce around, you know, during shipment because you don't know what they're doing with these boxes. So I try to put as much bubble wrap or these bubble things in there, I keep it as full as possible, but without like damaging the mum. So these are going to keep it nice and full, but they're also going to protect the mum. So when they're shaking the box or doing whatever they're doing, whether they throw it or whatever it is they do, it's not going to damage, you know, you're going to have less likely going to damage the mum. And I keep, I push down to see like how much room is in there. And do I need to add some more stuff? That's what I'm doing there. Okay, when I'm shipping more than one mum, I, before I seal up the box, I put the person's name on the box. So whether it's their last name, first name, whatever, usually who I'm shipping it to, not, not the um, child, whoever is on the shipping address is who I put on the box and usually just like you know let's say M Johnson or something like that because a lot of times you may have two with the same first name I've had that I've had two people with the same first name or two people with the same last name shipping on the same day so you know Connie W <laughs> TJ H, you know, or T Hicks or whatever, you know, I, I will put first initial and last name or first name and last initial. And it could be you have two people with the same first name and last initial. So just be careful of that. See who, who all you're shipping to that day and then write that on there. And then I um, have a letter that I did this last season. I'm always changing that up too, but a, a letter uh, of thanks and then also how to care for their mom. Um, I have had an issue in the past of um, someone that ordered early. As much as I like people ordering early, the one issue with ordering early, especially if you've got younger kids and especially with the girls, it seems like more girls, they want to try on the mom. They want to play with it. They want to touch it. And um, I had an issue, and I think it was the first season I sold. And she ordered early. It's either the first or second. I can't remember. But she ordered early, which was great. But she let her daughter 
keep wearing it and trying it on and playing with it. And then a couple of days before homecoming, she messages me mad at me because one of the stickers came off. And I was like, well, you know, there's not much I can do when it's just a couple of days before homecoming. I can't get you more stickers. And she had been telling me, she had told me that her daughter wouldn't leave the mom alone, that she kept playing with it and she kept wearing it. She kept letting her wear it. And, and then she was mad at me because the sticker came off. So that is what's, uh, I, I want to say that was the second season because that's when I started the letter, um, you know, and of course thank them. And I can give you a copy of this letter if you would like. I think I should still have it saved. I hope I do because I cleaned out a bunch of stuff off my computer. But um, I also put on there to please not let your child play with the mom or wear the mom before homecoming because I'm not responsible for any damage that they do to the mom. And unfortunately I have to put that on there because of, you know, you just learn as you go, things like that happen. And then you learn that you have to do stuff like that. So, but it's also a, like a thank you for them. And then I also print out little on card stock, little thank you cards. So I put that in there as well. And I can't remember what all and I, yeah, I put it in an envelope. Oh, and a copy of their um, their order form from Etsy. So they've got a copy of what they ordered and what all information they put on there and how much they paid, blah, blah, blah. So they have all of that in that envelope and I try to make it pretty. And I want when they open the, the box, I want them to be like, oh, it's so pretty. You know, they've got that pretty envelope with the, uh, sometimes with the sticker on it, I made a bunch of those hearts, but I ran out and, um, you know, like some curlies or, um, I don't really do the curlies anymore. I buy the, um, now I forgot what it's called. And I just opened some yesterday, <laughs> like what you put in the Easter basket, but the paper, um, stuff that's all crinkled up. My mind has gone blank. I'm, I know you guys know what I'm talking about, but I put some of that, that colored, not the grass, but the other, the paper ones that are crinkled up and I put that in there and um, of course all the tissue so when you open it up it's like opening a, a gift or something so I want to make it pretty and I learned that from TJ again she makes hers everything she ships makes it look so pretty and like such a something really special and just something that didn't uh, I didn't think about and then I also um, I changed this up too. I got some sticker vinyl, that printable sticker vinyl that I, I now use. And I put like a uh, homemade mum inside or something. I, and I debated on that because, you know, is that going to make somebody want to steal the box more or want them to not steal it as much? I don't know. But then I also want, you know, whoever's handling the box to see that it's something handmade. Maybe they'll take better care with it. I don't know. But it makes me feel a little better. Now this mom is a, a mini mom as well, but it's an extra long mini mom. So uh, the streamers on it and the braid on it are 17 inches long plus whatever the mom head, whatever uh, added height that is. Uh, so I don't know offhand like how, how long exactly this is, but I can tell you from the bottom of the mom head to the end is 17 inches. And this is the mum. I actually show making this mum. I have a tutorial for that, so I'll try to link a card up there. And it's also the mum that I did not get a picture of. Well, I did get a picture inside, but I didn't get a good, you know, I always go outside with my, my mannequin and take good pictures. But I was in such a hurry to get all these mums um, shipped off that day and get them boxed up. And, and it's, all, you know, I spend hours boxing up these mums. I really do. So you have to factor that into your costs too when you're making mums. If you're shipping, it adds a lot of time, a lot of time. People just don't understand, especially if you're trying to box them up with, with lots of care. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is a, a long piece of chipboard, and I'm shoving it under the loops of the mum head. And then I'm going to glue it to the sides of the box, and that is going to keep that mum from moving around. It's going to keep it 
sturdy and stable. It's going to keep it in place. And so that mum head is not going to move around. It's going to be right where I want to keep it. And this box, I believe that box is a recycled box. I do purchase a lot of boxes, especially for the bigger mums. But if I receive a box and it's still in good condition and it looks like it would work well for a mum, that I save that too and, and try to recycle boxes as well. Um, you're not just saving money, but you're also, you know, recycling. So I think that's a good thing as well. You see, it's not going to move around very much at all. It's going to keep it steady. You just have to worry about the braids and, and ribbons and such. So you can slide it back and forth, but not much else. And then I'm going to fold that tissue paper. And I like to put the tissue on the bottom of the box as well, because I'm trying to make sure the mum is in perfect condition when they open it. I don't, you know, in case there's anything on the bo bottom of the box. And then that way you're not transferring any dirt or anything on the mum. And then what I'll do, um, I'm going to put some tissue, more tissue paper on top. And then I'm going to fold those ends over. And I'm also going to wrap up some of these trinkets. It really just depends on them all. You see, I'm moving all the trinkets up. And the bling, this is a blinged mum as well. You just, you really got to take care of all those ribbon streamers and everything. So I'm putting that down and then putting the bling and the trinkets and stuff. Now I do have separate videos for um, all of these boxing up. And you know, there's different voiceovers for those. Some of them don't have voiceovers, some of them do. But I do have separate videos for all of these. But I wanted to do a video that had all of them together, like all these different mums. And some of these, I'm also going to show some, just some pictures that I took of mums in the boxes, just to give you some ideas. And so you've probably never seen that before. But there's going to be a variety of mums in this video. I probably won't voice over the whole thing. Um, but I just wanted to, especially here at the beginning. Now it can be difficult there when you fold those over. They want to flop back over because they're not that long. So I'm trying to put that tissue down. And then I'm going to put that pair of scissors down just to hold them down so they don't flop back over. And then for the little air pockets, what I call them. <laughs> I know that's not their name, but that's what I call them. And then just keep putting layers of that until you've got as much as you need. And then one more layer of tissue paper, because again, when they open it up, I want it to be nice and pretty. And then again, there's the letter. There is their copy of the order and then of course I'm putting their name on there so I don't put the wrong label on there because that you know when you're boxing up a mum you've got it all taped up and then you have to measure it and weigh it and then you do the shipping labels so you can't do the shipping labels before you get it completely boxed up. It has to be after the fact when you weigh it. So I put the name on there and there's one of those little thank you cards I was talking about. And I just get some envelopes from Hobby Lobby. Sometimes I look out and they will have some on clearance over, you know, where like the uh, paper crafting is. So I just try to make it cute and yeah, that's what I, that's how I do it. There's those little, that was just some glitter vinyl. I think it was Dollar Tree glitter vinyl or shimmer vinyl. And see, it just adds a little fun touch there. Okay, now I'm going to show you how well I tape these things up. And then I'm going to add some music and not do some voiceovers because you don't need me talking while I <laughs> box this up.
Okay, so here's some pictures of some um, a couple of mini or peewee mums that I boxed up. Now these boxes are still available, but they changed the sizes, so they don't work for my peewees and minis anymore. This was from, uh, well, I'm sure I have it on there. I just didn't see it from either two years ago or three years ago. I, they had the perfect boxes for minis and peewees, and then they changed the sizes. So unfortunately they don't work for them anymore, but I can use them for hair bow mums. Uh, you can see they work well for that. And you can see the chipboard, and then I have the, the mum also covered in plastic. And there might be some tissue paper in there too, I can't tell for sure. And then that's how I covered it before I shipped it. Went ahead and covered it in tissue and put some, that's the stuff I was talking about. Um, the filler, or whatever you want to call it. And then here is one day of shipping. like. This is normal during homecoming season. I don't ship every day. I ship like maybe three days a week. And so this is normal, like that many boxes going out. Feel sorry for my oh man, please do. <laughs> and here was a senior mom that I was shipping. And I'm just showing you kind of the layers after I have it all in the box. I thought, oh, well, I'll get my camera out and kind of show you the different layers. And then here is another hair bow mum. And again, this is a free box from the post office. It works great for ring mums, uh, hair bow mums, any of those, like wrist mum, any of those really small ones. So I'm going to add some music to these. And I'm also going to show another mini mum. And again, it's it, it was from three years ago, from three seasons ago. So that box size is not available anymore. But you can see. Um, what I went through to get it boxed up.
this was the big water mum that I made. It was a double. And it was, you know, this is not easy to ship or box up. I didn't film the process because it is stressful. Boxing up mums, especially these big ones, I am a sweaty, cranky mess when I get done. I'm not going to lie. You guys just do not understand. I'm on the floor with a huge box, a huge mum, and it takes me forever to box it up and to get all the layers, you know, and make sure every little piece of this mum is taken care of. So as I was filming or as I was doing it, I would get my phone or camera out and I would show what I had done, but I did not record the whole process because it was just, like I said, it's stressful enough and trying to record that and be at, you know, make sure that the box is in frame the whole time and make sure that I'm not getting, because when I'm boxing up to you on the floor, I'm over the box. And so there's a lot of stuff you wouldn't be able to see anyway, because I would be, leaning over it I have to to get the mum in there and get it secure and everything which I have tried before and it adds to my stress level it, homecoming season is stressful anyway as much as I love it it does add a lot of stress my, to my life and boxing up mums adds a lot of stress to my life too because you know I want to make sure I did all that work and they are so excited for it and nothing would be worse than doing a crappy boxing and their mom being messed up. I mean, that would be horrible. So this is what you get. <laughs> I hope it helps if you are going to be shipping mums. I hope it helps you um, in your process. You know, you may box yours up completely different, but this should give you some ideas and tips on how to do it. And this is the last layer that's going in the, the mum. So I've just taking all these ribbon streamers and just folding them over and they're, no, no, they're going to be carefully folded over and the ends are going to be pushed down. Not really pushed down because that sounds like it's going to damage it, but just they're going to, you're going to see it at the end. But this is the least stressful part because it's almost done and I just have to carefully fold these over and you saw the bling. I just kind of set it down into the box but like the uh, braids and stuff, I've got tissue paper all around those. Any big ornament type stuff, trinkets, I've got those wrapped in tissue paper. Like if there's a big mirror ball, which I'm sure there was, I will take tissue and I will wrap all the way around that. The big uh, bells, big bows, they'll have tissue carefully wrapped around them just to kind of add that layer of protection to help keep it in shape without you know messing them up that's another reason why I don't leave the wires on the bows uh, is because you know you're doing like this it's it's going to get smashed a little bit and then the bow is not going to be super pretty when they take it out but I've noticed that if I take the wire out the bow does hold its shape a lot better so that's one of the reasons why I don't like keeping the wires and the bows but that's your choice on how you want to do that and this box is a huge, I, I know you can't tell, I want to say it's like 22 by 22 by 12 inches deep. So, And I did order some even bigger boxes, like longer boxes for the big mums. <clears throat> and I don't remember how deep they are. I don't think they're that deep. But if you go longer, you don't need it as deep or you shouldn't. Yeah, see, see the ends are all perfectly taken care of. It worked out perfect. You just got to make sure everything is protected. And of course, I'll add tissue and more bubble wrap. And it got there safe and sound. I saw pictures of it and it was in perfect condition. So all that work pays off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it's helpful if you decide to ship mums. Uh, you can comment with any questions, but please be kind with those comments. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Happy mum making, happy crafting, and I wish you all well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share, like, comment. Again, please, please be kind with those comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my buddies, TJ and Connie. Their links are in the description.